out with the pass over to El Yunusi. El Yunusi to Bolasi. Bolasi to El Yunusi. The five star skiller could score his first goal in his debut. And yes, he will. It is the 88th minute. And he gets the winner for Crystal Palace. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing in this beach and sports? And welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode. As you guys know, we have an insane episode in our hands. We have to play in the Europa League and then in the FA Cup and then in the Capital One Cup final against Manchester City. And the last decision that you guys had to make was between Nguma and Moore. Nguma, the 70 rated centre back, was the one you have chosen. So he will be playing in the centre back position even though Moore is higher rated. But maybe some of you guys noticed that Moore didn't improve at all. And Nguma improved right away in the first week he joined the team. And maybe that is a good sign for the future. But guys, if you could smash out the like button right now, it would be amazing. Tomorrow, I will have the real-life football video against Germany's national team coach, Yogi Löw. And I'm really looking forward to show you guys how that game went and how much fun I had in that game. Right here, we are playing against Olympique Marseille in the Europa League. And this is a very important match for our team because our budget is way too low and we need that money 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 so the first chance came from Yusuf Paulsen who was not able to get past Mandanda but I knew that Mandanda was always good for a mistake during a game because I had him at Bayer Leverkusen and he was not the best keeper in the world even though he was 87 rated for me so I was just waiting for my opportunity to come but Speroni didn't really have too much to do in this match Mandanda on the other hand had a lot to do we are passing it over to Zaha who then hits it right onto the goalkeeper should have been a goal 90th minute we are in the last few seconds of the game El Yunusi the 5 star skiller on the right hand side now getting past the defender pass it over to Dwight Gill, who then gets past the defender and scores the goal Mandanda not even doing anything about that shot he just stood there and let it get past him and what an important goal that was for Crystal Palace what an insane moment for Dwight Gale and El Yunusi who gets an assist in that match and then I simulated the game against Watford with my reserves team because I knew that I had to have my top team against Olympique Marseille three days later and right here you can see the match against Liverpool got rescheduled. I couldn't believe my eyes. They put the game right between the most important game of the season and the one I just played. Only three days separating these two games and now we have a game right in the middle of those two freaking games. And I had to give up the match against Liverpool, guys. I had my reserves on low stamina and I could not play my first team with like Pauls and Berahino. I needed them for the Marseille game. So I gave away this game in order to have a fully fit team against Marseille because we need the money from the Europa League. And right after that game, we are still in third place because Manchester United have not played their game yet. And it is Crystal Palace against Olympique Marseille. I gave up the game against Liverpool just for this match so let's see how we will do in this very important match and I need to win it Fova with the first shot and Esperoni with the big save right there Redmond now with the perfect pass could this be an early goal for Crystal Palace no this time Mandanda seems to be on top form 24th minute another pass to Paulsen he then Ronaldo chops and his legs get chopped by Doria. It is a red card for Olympique Marseille because Pausin was pretty much through on goal right there and it is a big chance from 30 yards for Hoiberg. He takes the shot and Mandanda with an amazing save. He just gets the fingertips to it and now it's Pausin 1 and 2 gets past the first defender, drops him down, drops the second one down and he is breaking ankles but he is not able to score the goal. Paulsen, what the hell man, that could have been the goal of the season from the Europa League. And Berahino trying to score a goal as well, but he gets pulled back in the last split second. And they were just able to disturb him right before taking the shot. Bolasi joining into the game, and I hope he will be able to get us forward. It is Gignac on the ball now, passing it into the penalty area. And they do have a chance, thanks to Adnan. 
back healing it right in front of Gignac and what the hell was I thinking with passing it in the penalty area in such a dangerous situation that is my fault that is obviously not Adnan his fault but boys we deserve to win this match fouled into Chan Chan to Redmond and he scores the goal 1-1 in the 77th minute Nathan Redmond getting us in front once again in total, it is 2-1 right now for Crystal Palace, and we are not stopping. Nathan Redmond with another chance and a really similar goal to the one he just scored. What an amazing match right here, and we have won it against Olympique Marseille. I could have scored one more right here because they went all out attacking after me scoring the equalizer, and they just couldn't cope with the beast, Nathan Redmond. So we are through to the next round of the Europa League. Right here, I'm making some changes for the Capital One Cup final against Manchester City. I really wanted to win a cup. I really wanted to have a title in this season. In the last season, we were not able to get anything. But in this one, I want to win at least two titles, which are the Europa League and a domestic cup. And right here, we have the chance to win the first domestic cup against Manchester City in the final of the Capital One Cup. Obviously, it is not as prestigious as the FA Cup, but I really wanted to get the trophies. So, I was focusing on getting the best team possible onto the pitch with the highest stamina. So, let's see how we will do against a big team like Manchester City with the likes of David Silva and, of course, Yaya Torre. And they do have the first chance of the match in a third minute already, but they are not able to score. Nasri now on to the right hand side. Zabaleta on the ball right before half time. Silva passing it to the big lad. Yaya Torre, just like I said at the start of this match. These two are some beasts. David Silva getting a lot of assists throughout the season. And this time it's Yaya Torre scoring the goal. But guys, you know the mentality of this team. Zaha receiving an amazing pass from Berahino. But he's not able to score that one. That would have been the assist of a century. But he just wastes the pass of Berahino. But now he gets an own chance. He will score the goal. Berahino, instead of an assist, he gets the goal in for Crystal Palace. And now we are back into the game. Crystal Palace trying their best in order to just get the trophy. And they had a big chance right here with Jovetic who wasn't able to score the header. Now it's us in the penalty area of Manchester City. Zaha with the pass to Paulsen. But Joe Hart steps up one more time, saves it. But we are in the 90th minute. The last attack of Crystal Palace. Paulsen trying to get something going for his team. Scoot turn goes wrong but Redmond collects the ball pass it into the middle and it is Berahino scoring the goal in the 19th minute it's the winner for Crystal Palace and we do get the first trophy in this career mode it is the Capital One Cup trophy and finally all the work that we have gone through for this team is being rewarded and I accidentally pressed the X button or the A button so they say and skipped the celebration so I'm really sorry for that guys but still you guys know we have won the Capital One Cup it is the first trophy like I said for me as a coach of Crystal Palace and I'm really happy with that but in the next episode we will have to get past my old team, Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League. I think that is going to be an amazing battle because I know they have great players moving forward, but I do also know that they are not the best in defending. So we will see how we will do against them, but we also have to play in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup, but we have to play against Manchester United at first in order to keep the third place in the BPL. They are only one point behind us. And Berahino gets a good message in. He's now 77 rated. He already grew by plus two. And on top of that, guys, a wonder has happened. Bolasi going up by plus one. Finally, this guy is improving. I know he has like potential to be like a 78 or 79 rated player. And I just couldn't wait to see him improve. Finally, he has done it. And in the next episode, you will see us battling for the third place in the BPL. And also, 
so we will try and beat Bayer Leverkusen in order to get into the Europa League quarterfinal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button and tomorrow at 12 p.m. we will have the video with Yogi Love. Take care. Peace.